Hello guys, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPPNet's video series on C++ interview questions and this topic is why destruction happens in reverse order of construction in inheritance. What I mean to say is you have this base class and we are inheriting it into this derived class and we have this constructor of derived, destructor of derived and similarly for base constructor and base destructor. So if you will create this object D which is of derived type. First it will call base, then it will call derived. And wait a minute, the calling happens like this. This D will end up calling derived constructor first. And then this derived constructor will call base constructor. And once this base construction is done, the control will come back and then it will execute itself. Okay, so it's this derived constructor who is calling base constructor. It's not this D here, okay. So compiler changes something here so that it will call base class constructor first then it will call itself. Okay. So let's write this construction. In construction it is like base first then derived but in destruction it is derived first and then base. Okay. So these are the destructors. So we are going to discuss this part today. and. There could be basically two different reasons for this. I mean, why it is destructing in reverse order. See, the order was first base, then derived. But why in destruction, derived is first, then base. Okay, so let's look at the first reason. The first reason is stack. We all know that objects, data members and everything are created on top of stack. So it look like this. First, it is calling base. Okay, so base will come here and then it is calling derived. So derived will come here. Okay, so this is D. Now, if you are going to destruct it, obviously you have to destruct this derived first because this is the rule of the stack. Whatever is inserted last will go out first. Okay, so that's why destructor of derived was called first and then base was destructed. Okay. So it makes sense that if we are using stack for this, then the reason is clear. And I'm not saying that this is the reason I'm discussing. This could be the reason because there is no document where C++ author is telling why it is in reverse order. It's the people who are discussing and what was the need behind doing it in reverse order. So this is one of the reason people thinks. And as you can think that it is obvious that it should be the reason. Okay, so stack is one reason. And another reason is if you will destruct base first before derived, then this D would be in inconsistent state. How? I'll show you that. So this full D is of derived plus base type. So Notice this, this D is not of derived type. This D is of derived plus base. Okay, because this derived itself is half definition of derived. If you will remove base from that derived itself is nothing. Okay, so this derived is derived plus base. So if you are creating this D as derived, it means you are creating this D as D plus B. So this is the full type of this D object. Now let's see if you will remove base class from this then this derived class has come into inconsistent state because this derived is actually the half portion of the derived. Okay, it was completed when base was there. So this D object D will become inconsistent because you have removed base from derived and derived was nothing I mean half and this base was half so half plus half it was getting full okay so this was the 50% and this was 50% for this D and what you did you removed base so this has become 50% now and it is not having full definition of derived okay and let's see the other way if we have this derived plus base and this is object let's suppose you removed D 
as we do here okay so this is the actual case so if you are removing d then this particular object is still in consistent state because base is not deriving anything and base is a full type derived was half type base is full type so if you have removed derived from your object d but you are still keeping this in consistent state because base is a full type full means it is not inheriting anything in itself it is a full data type and another way to understand this is let's suppose in base class you are constructing some pointer it could be file pointer or any pointer and it was constructed at base and base was constructed first then derived in that case derived use that pointer in its calculation and now correct way would be to destruct derived first so that it will remove that pointer not remove it will it will not use that pointer what was created here and then you go and destruct that pointer and you are done but if you will do this in that case you are removing this pointer before this derived class and this derived class is still using that pointer and this is also a good way to understand this whole thing so first thing is stack if somebody is asking you you can tell them that it is because of stack because it will create on top of stack and this is how it work and the second reason could be if he is not happy with that you can tell him that this derived is itself half type it becomes complete when base is there and if you will remove base first from that derived will become inconsistent okay that's why we remove derived first then base and if he is still not happy you give this example that there is some pointer inside base class and you ended up using inside this derived class and you removed that base class first then you have removed that pointer but still this derived class is holding that pointer and that state is inconsistent state so after listening these three answers he would be really very really happy okay i know that so if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button if you learn something new today and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you will get the notification for upcoming videos like this thanks for watching bye bye Thank <laughs> you.